hello everyone, and today <clears throat> I'm gonna try a new introduction because okay, I can't make any. So, hi everyone, my name is Kieran Glover and I'm a digital product designer. And today we're gonna be designing and launching a product in about 12 hours using Sketch and Webflow. The idea for the product that I have, I've had for quite some time, and it's to have a collection of quotes available online that people can also submit and add their own quotes that are very nicely done and nicely illustrated and nicely designed and they're going to be filtered based on your mood. So yeah, I'm going to hopefully try and design this and build it in about 12 hours. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get on the computer, got my coffee ready and we're going to get started on the designs. So I'm just about to get started on um, some planning and wireframing for the uh, product that I want to make, but I should probably go into a bit more detail about why I want to do it. There's Rose in the back. <laughs> Welcome to my corner, by the way. This is where all the magic work happens. <laughs> it's like the smallest desk in the world. As you can see, there's my coffee, my laptop here, stand. Designer life, starting out as freelancer, not as glamorous as it may seem online. But anyway, the reason I want to build this product is I always have a lot of ideas of new things that I want to create and ideas that I have. However, I never really have the time or the motivation or whatever to do them because I'm usually caught up doing other client work or looking for client work and stuff like that. But I thought I would just take today from myself to improve my skills and things like that and to refine a new kind of design style that I'm adopting at the moment for my new portfolio and stuff like that and for future projects. But anyway, but the main reason is that I have a lot of ideas but I never really get around to making any of them. So I thought it would be really, really cool to spend today to try and challenge myself to build and launch a product from scratch and I think the idea is really cool. I'm gonna get on with a bit more planning and wireframing and I'm gonna time lapse it as I do it and you guys can see how the design kind of evolves and I'll catch with you guys in a bit. I've finished off designing the kind of, you probably cannot see that, but I've finished off doing some basic wireframes for the site in Sketch. Let's see if we can get that to show up on the screen. Yep, there you go. So this one here, this is basically going to be the start, this desktop here, and that's going to be like a welcome screen about the uh, service, the product. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but it's going to be called Quote Motion. Second screen is just going to be um, pick, choose how you're feeling. So happy, sad, neutral, I guess. So I'm just going to do three in the meantime, because we're going to aim to get an MVP, a minimal product done by the end of the day. And this is kind of like the main screen here. So here you have this sidebar menu, the logo, the three different emotions. And depending on what you click, that will come up here with the different emotions and that will be a scrollable page and this little part here is going to be you know like like share whatever but yeah that's how it's looking at the moment and the next step is basically designing this up and then we're going to jump into webflow and start building it so i'm going to jump on the computer and time lapse a bit more so you guys can see how the design comes together guys just a quick update I spent the last 30 minutes or so coming up with a logo for the product that I'm gonna build and this is what I came up with if you can see see that little guy there the kind of emoji with a bounce around the quote motion and beautifully created quotes underneath there and that's the kind of new style that I'm playing around with at the moment it's kind of more illustration type style because through doing this project, one thing that I want to improve, because in personal projects it's really important that you push yourself to 
try something new I think you know or enhance a skill set that you want to improve so at the moment I'm really trying to work on my illustration and icon design and uh, logo design things like that so trying out this new kind of illustration style in this project but yeah that's the logo I came up with and I started also working on the sort of onboarding section here oh you can see that screen there I'm going to do a background, so it just says welcome to Quote Motion. Here you can find a curated selection of beautifully designed quotes based on how you're feeling today and get started button there. And I'm going to do like a nice background maybe with some books and pen illustrations. We're going to take a short break now, make some lunch and then get back on to completing the design and then building it in Webflow. Well, mega exposure overload. It's one of those sunny, beautiful winter days. Freezing cold inside too, but nice to be inside when it's cold outside. But anyway, gonna take a break, because never underestimate the importance of breaks when you're working, especially when you're behind a computer all day. You need to rest those eyes and rest the mind. But anyway, gonna get on, but first things first, dishwashing. <laughs> Everything for the noodle soup ready. Veggies, soup on the go. Just waiting for it to boil. Gonna have some noodle soup for lunch because nothing better than noodle soup on a winter's day. But while that's boiling, I'm gonna get on, continue trying to get a bit more of the design done. finished now with some lunch. It was very, very good. Noodle soup. That's making it. I didn't take any pictures of the actual final result, but anyway, feeling refreshed, ready to go. Got myself an orange juice, ready to smash out the rest of this product. Quick update of where I'm at now. It's about 3.34. I've just about finished the MVP, very MVP design. So you can see here the landscape. I still, still want to do some background of, for this, you know, some books and some illustration, but I didn't get around to doing it yet. And the same background will carry over to the second onboarding screen. And then when you click on these, they're going to take you to the various quotes and these are just some quotes I picked off from online um, however I'm gonna you know I, as the product gets older and more you know people submit things I want to start creating my own quotes you know some hand illustrated quotes I think we're ready to start start developing it in Webflow but I have to say I'm feeling a bit tired and this chair that I'm sitting on gives me the worst neck cramp ever so I'm gonna take a quick break now probably grab another coffee maybe a small snack or something and get back and finish but we'll be on to Webflow very very soon
just another small update. It's now quarter past five. Well, specifically 16 minutes past five. Began, as you saw in the uh, time lapse, been just building it out in Webflow and quite happy with how things are looking so far. Although the actual structure of the pages, like the links and stuff, what pages link to what, is quite a challenge and I'm still thinking in my head what's the best way to like lay everything out. But I think for the moment I'm just having separate pages, for example, for the happy quotes, sad quotes and stuff like that. But hopefully after dinner I'm gonna think of a better way to optimize that so that it's not just many many page linking together so that there's some better transitions and stuff like that. You see this is the first let me turn down this exposure a bit if I can. Anyway. Never mind, so it goes down here, if you click on the button here, how are you feeling today? And if you go into I'm feeling great, you're greeted by this and hopefully I'm going to add some transitions and obviously I still need to put in the actual quotes, um, if I switch over to here, you see the actual quotes, the small sidebar here, but it's looking nice and then when I click on this, this is going to change colour somehow and then other quotes are going to appear, but yeah that's how it's looking at the moment and the progress. So everyone, just quickly while I was making dinner at the same time, I, I managed to do the actual quotes part and make this area scrollable, see, like that. And the way I did this, like, and actually the whole side with the sidebar and stuff, I'm using Webflow's um, Flexbox layout, which I've been using loads recently and found it, like, super useful for doing more kind of complex layouts and things like that. You know, this is the type of layout that you might find on, like, an online magazine or an ebook or something. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking. That area is scrollable now, and obviously these are all going to be different. Some that I'm going to create, some that hopefully you guys will create, and you can share them and things like that. But yeah, it's coming along really nicely, and i just got to basically replicate this for the doing okay and not great section. And then I'm going to hopefully add a few animations, a few transitions and stuff like that. We'll be ready to go. So really happy with how it's looking. So just finished up with dinner now and feeling very full, quite tired, wanting to just chill, but gonna get on, get this finished. Last push now, got two more screens to do, got to sort out the transitions and then maybe do a few animations, then push it live. It's gonna be good. So let's get back on now. So it's now around 9.20 or 9.30. It's so close to being finished. I've done all the pages. Uh, I've begun doing the animation and I'm also just uh, finalizing all the links to make sure they work properly. And the last thing to do is, I don't know if you remember that overlay on each of the quotes where it's gonna to be to share to the various social medias. I'm not quite sure how to integrate that using Webflow, but if it's not gonna work with the functionality, then I'll just, you know, put it in or sort of do something in replacement. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Obviously it still needs a lot of work, but yeah, I mean, I'm proud that I've managed to do it almost in, well, currently it's still under the 12 hour mark, so I think I started around 11 or 12 this morning and it's now around 9.20. But yeah, still got a few finishing touches. By the time you see this, it will be live and ready for you guys to see it. And I might have even made a few optimizations and stuff like that but I'll catch with you guys in a bit but that was just a short update. So it's now half past 11 or 11.28 to be specific and it's finally pretty much done. I'm so happy with the way it's turned out. I'll show you guys what I've done now and then we'll round up this video. So it is finished and this is the final product. This is the welcome screen. I'm gonna make this say get started. Preview. It takes, I have to refresh it to, until it loads all three images. I don't know quite why that's happening, but anyway, hopefully it won't when I actually push it live. As you can see, incorporated a few animations as well. But I'm feeling great. A few more animations. These 
these are just some quotes I found online. You know, I've just got two quotes for each emotion, so this is kind of like another navigation. So we can get to doing okay. And then I even got the, so let's go back to feeling great, and all the links should be working. Um, but I actually got even these kind of share buttons to work in a kind of hacky way. So if we go share to Twitter, this isn't working very well because obviously it just says I found this quote at quote motion, but it doesn't actually link to the specific media. I, I couldn't work out how to do it and didn't want to waste time doing that just now. But if we click on the uh, Facebook one, yeah, you can see I actually managed to get the link to work as it, it should be in, in Facebook, which is really cool. And the way I did it was uh, by using this thing called share code generator so basically the image location in the assets tab here in webflow and you just go to settings and open here and then I copied the the image location so you put that in here and then just made a title this is going to be the quotemotion.com website and then just a uh, content and create my code and then if we go into here on this kind of overlay overlay section uh, here and go to settings. I just pasted the link into here and open in a new tab. Um, so, like I said, it's quite a hacky way to do it. And I wanted something similar in Twitter, but for an MVP, it's working just fine, really. So, that was just a small uh, demo of what I managed to build today. It's been such a cool experience to kind of push myself and um, to take it all the way, as you saw, from wireframes to the full design through using Sketch and Webflow, two incredibly powerful modern design tools that allow designers and people who think a bit more visually to really build these kind of complex products like I did just now. And this has so much room for expansion in the future by I can either export the code and sort of do more developer stuff or send it over to a developer if I struggle with some of the uh, implementation of the social sharing and stuff like that. And I also plan, as you can see, there's a link, store link there. And at the moment that's just going to be an empty link, but in the future it's going to be awesome to, you know, get some of these quotes printed and also for you guys to submit some quotes to me as well so that I can showcase them on here. Because at the moment I'm just lifting them from Google Images. But yeah, I'm going to be hopefully every day or every few days um, just creating a quote or a quote and add, adding to this to really build it into this amazing uh, product that just has a big big collection and backlog of quotes for you guys to see and to share with your friends and hopefully help you feel better or help represent your mood or, or just something that represents how you're feeling I guess and yeah I also have planned for it to have like ratings and stuff so that we can rate the top quotes and at the end of each month the quote with the most ratings will be made into a t-shirt or something so so many so many ideas so many things we can add and all of that can be pretty much done in Webflow except perhaps some more hardcore developer stuff anyway I could go on all night about how we can grow this but it's been a great experience it's really pushed me and I would love to do something like this in the future if you guys can let me know how you liked it if you guys have any other ideas of stuff that you want me to build or we can build together maybe and then also if you could like I said I'm setting up a patreon account which just gives me a little bit of support um, to continue having the time and the money to be able to build these kind of things and continue doing it if you guys can support me on there that would be really awesome and we can hopefully grow this channel, grow this community and keep building awesome, awesome products together. But I really want to thank you for watching this and please go and check out Quote Motion. It's going to be posted on my social media and please also follow me, subscribe to me and stay in touch and I really hope you enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, I guess.